Hey fellow world players, it's Angry Turtle and today we are taking a closer look at Railway Rifle for 2024. Some basic information as well as more testing and performance. And yeah, performance is there. I will give you a spoiler alert. Performance is there. The role I have here is not perfect, but close. I will be talking a little bit more about legendary effects as we go for the field testing. Now the basic information about the railway rifle. It's a very good wrench, cannot be silent, can be made automatic. The ammo capacity is 10 by default, so quad, you can already tell, very beneficial to have. It's using spikes, very heavy ammo that is considered ballistic. So for the carrying of ammo purposes, bandolier is almost mandatory. Otherwise, you'll not be able to carry any reasonable amount of ammo for this weapon. Now, the build, of course, commando. If you're using automating, you can use it with a rifleman build. If we'll be using a semi version, which is not as good, but there is a use case. Now, if you don't know, the plan for the weapon itself you can get from Watoga Station as well as automatic receiver plan should be there too. So you can purchase them in there if you are considering Prime. Unfortunately, Prime is not available as automatic. If you take a look at Piston, which is a receiver, there is Prime receiver. And no, only semi-auto, so the fire rate will drop to 10. You can see the difference it's from 75 to 10. That's why automatic is a king of the DPS. You can see the damage uh, dropping, but that's only because I have commando cards. In practice, prime receiver damage per spike is slightly higher, but yeah, the fire rate seven times lower. So no, you will not be doing great with Prime for the boss fight. But for everyday use, yeah, absolutely, you could. So I'm interested in this weapon as a boss killer, therefore automatic it is for me. Then there is a barrel, short barrel or long. The short, the only use case for a short will be if you want to try to fire it without VATS, as this is a VATS dedicated weapon, almost impossible to use without VATS. It is kind of possible if you put short barrel, but still then it will be short range weapon and hard to control, even with short barrel. Recall compensating stock is a way to go. Now, reflex side, obviously to reduce your AP cost, other sides will increase the AP cost. Reflex side, put it down. The AP cost of railway is generally very low, as you can see. You can easily get away without a third star to reduce the AP cost. It's not even needed. Now, the muzzle, you can have bayoneted, bayonet, but yeah. Wrench will suffer. I would not recommend it. And lastly, there are paints for it. In the past, it used to be like no paints at all. Now you have gilded paint and locomotive paint. They will be probably from time to time popping in Atom Shop if you are wondering how to get them. I don't know if you can purchase them through a support ticket. But they are. They exist. So at least paints exist. They were not here like two years ago when I was testing this weapon previously. So now those are in here. Field testing. Everyday use and boss fights. I'm on the stealth build. So how does it perform with stealth, you may wonder. So it is a loud weapon, but if you'll be using it with relatively high distance and the amount of damage this weapon does to enemies, it is kind of possible to have some kills from sneaking without being detected. I only can get more super mutants to test on. Where are you? Here. The VATS accuracy is really good. And as you can see, it's one shot kill when I get my stealth bonus from not being detected. And now I'm in danger. I can easily go back 
to hidden, yeah, hidden and cushion by sprinting and crouching again. Now that's that's the amount of detection that is happening with every shot. So if I shoot a couple more times, I will be certainly in danger. And I'm here with a crazy amount of stealth. 1600 damage, that was a critical to the head. So that's with crazy amount of stealth. There is no amount of stealth that will guarantee that you remain hidden. You will be getting in danger, regardless how crazy your stealth is. Now, the damage itself, you can probably already see, it's insane. About the legendary effects, quad is absolutely the best prefix. Unless you are trying to go for some action with single shot and prime, it is a quad. The alternative option, you could try going for instigating with VAT's hit chance, and that would work as a single shot, but that's not recommended. That's like off meta use case. The meta use case is absolutely quad. For the second star, you have three options uh, to keep really high DPS. For the second star, you can go, as I have, critical damage or faster fire rate or explosive rounds, explosive bullets. The explosive one is really fun as it overrides the spikes that do have a travel time into a projectiles that are very fast, almost direct impact without any waiting. It will cause the weapon degradation to be higher and this weapon does break relatively fast. So there is a drawback to going for explosive. Which one particularly will be the best for boss fights? I still plan to test it, which means what's absolute best, critical damage, faster fire rate or explosive. I cannot tell right now, but I do plan to test it. They all very close that I can tell you. All those second stars will be very close and very good. And lastly, for the third star, it's not really essential, I need to say. You can have something that breaks slower, less AP cost, whatever you really want. As last star is not essential. Quad and second star, yeah, those are the essentials. Last star is not. Now, if we face a tanky enemy, let's go after, what, maybe Super Mutant Behemoth today. And one additional reason for this weapon being such a powerhouse is the fact that Endanger or Syringer is currently working and you can even stack it with your teammates. So the damage resistance on enemies is very insignificant for you. Basically doesn't matter at all as you can erase it all with the Syringer. So the fact that Railway do not offer any armor piercing receiver is not a big problem. And the damage alone is so high that with criticals and just a tank killer equipped, you are very likely to achieve 100% effective armor penetration. So your criticals will be doing full damage. I was explaining it a little bit more when I was talking about quad versus bloodied versus anti-armor fixer, how the armor penetration and effective armor works. It is tricky with followed. It is a very weird approach. It was always like that. But that's that what you need to know in a short, that this one, injection, and then tank killer and crits, I should have 100% armor penetration. And look at the damage. That's what I'm getting. Basically, his damage resistance is not high enough to stop any damage. I'm doing full damage. Otherwise, 1800 from critical wouldn't be possible if any of his damage resist would work. His damage resist is indeed enough to lower down my regular damage a little bit. It's not enough when it's critical as it's way too high. And it's barely lowering my damage from sneak. So with the sneak bonuses, it's already close to the breaking point when his armor doesn't matter. After injection, even worse. So this is the railway rifle, absolute powerhouse as of 2024. You can probably tell by this showcase. There are tougher enemies like Scorby's Queen, Titan, Earl, but they still melt if you have a proper bloodied commando build. And especially if you apply a syringe. The thing is that syringe benefits all the ballistic weapons. There is no equivalent syringe to reduce energy resistance. So it's not the same with energy weapons as it's not possible for most energy weapons to achieve high enough damage to penetrate 100% of the armor. 
it's possible for some. For many, it is not. So this is additional benefit for railway. You can do basically true damage. The true damage with railway and with the criticals. Now, what do you think? Did you ever give railway a chance? If you didn't, you absolutely should. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.